Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph, and today we are doing episode 17 of our Let's Play Celasta Crown of the Magister. We have finally made it to where this elf gal says her master is in this um, kind of tower looking place. And we have unlocked half of this door using this um, little mystical thing here. When we got this taken care of, it did launch a combat that we had to deal with with a bunch of um, blood people. And now we've got to do this one as well. Um, just in case we get attacked again, and because I forgot to do it the first time, we are going to put up our mage armor on our wizard. And then we're going to open this stuff up. And as always, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. All right, so now we got to get this guy done. So let's go ahead and let's activate this middle piece. Oh, it looks like I have to do all three of them on this one. Look, it works. Door opened, no combat. Okay, let's go inside. Well, that doesn't look good. Did you see that? A defiler. It vanished. Defiler, that doesn't sound good either. So we got locked in the room. Oh, there's a book here. What else do we got? We got a book. We got a statue. And then darkness. All right, let's look at the book. Principles of Architecture by Corellus Greyhand. He designed the Teen Soleus, the Imperial Palace of Sea Theonus. All right. This is huge. Oh, there's a chest over here in the darkness. Oh, an ancient manifest and some gold. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, it looks like a... Yep, we got a little... And some more darkness. Um, barrel! That's what that thing is. Wow. Uh, let's see. We got magic bolts. Regular arrows. How are we doing on arrows? Ooh. Paul's low on arrows. Uh, Dante's really low on arrows. Uh, we're going to move Dante these... Here, let's do it this way. We'll go ahead and put those in there. We'll give these to Paul. And this guy was highlighted. This is Iridia Fairmind, the Justicar, as he presents the first codex of the Imperial Law to the court. All right, let's uh, let's get in this circle. Okay, next let's let's get in the circle. All right, let's see where it takes us. Clerics and paladins always know all the spells they can cast at their level, but still need to prepare those they want to be able to cast. They're divine casters, so they just have to pick and choose after each rest. All right, they're on a walkway. Oh, we can't do anything off to the side. How about the side? Nope. There's some ghosty looking guys. Two there, three there. Let's go this side. Are they ghosts? These projections are from the master, not ghosts. Found a major gate. Uh, 
looks like there's a harp over here that we can un click on. This harp. Look at this wood. The patina. It hasn't aged a day. Seems out of time. Okay, let's go look in this room. Uh, looks like a gate that we can't use. Anything else in this room? Another book. The history of the Elven Wars by the first Loremaster of the Arcanium. Very excited about that, Dante. What other wonders does this place contain? Oh, got a plaque. Library. Entry strictly, strictly prohibited. Well, let's go in. Ah, uh, nope. Yes, not. The door is locked. Oh, another plaque. The library. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. Uh, we got a bookshelf. Bunch of crafting things. What's that? Oh, our component pouch. All right, we've got another shelf. Some more books. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Got another shelf. More books. Bunch of crafting things. And another shelf that we can't get to. Well, let's. Fly a wizard. Well, let's see if whatever's up here is worth a third level slot. Uh, revivify and raise dead. Ah, that was probably worth a third level slot. Oh, I think we got a statue here. Well, it's a little scroll on the statue and a door. Let's play with the scroll. Let's stay on guard. All right, door opens up. Let's see what we got. We're close now, I can feel it, says the elf. Another walkway that we can't do anything on either side. A spectacular place, isn't it? Oh, cutscene. Everybody freeze. Are you kidding me? Master, here I am, at last. Kitayela, come to me. We're gonna die here. Uh, uh. <laughs> What's going on here? I have tried for years to open that door. And here you are, an answer to my prayers. It would almost lead me to believe in the benevolence of the gods. Albeit, my very existence proves otherwise. Well, that didn't look good. Well, on the plus side, they all have the uh, light hypersensitivity.
Root of flesh. Gotcha. Good job, Paul. Yeah, what's this guy's talking with? Slows. Everyone succeeded. Yay. Oh, come on, Dante. Oh my gosh, Dante. You have failed us. Let's blow some of these guys up. I don't want to waste any time. Nice shot. Ow. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can't sparkle in combat, so you're lighting up these orbs. We'll do nothing. You know what? Blast these guys with another fireball. There we go. That looks good. Make sure they're both lit up. Alright, one down. Ow! Ow! We miss miserably, they keep hitting us. Alright, Paul. Let's see if we can kill this one. Dante's down to 10 hit points. That's not a plus. Not positive. You have them now. Good job, Dante. Well, let's throw another fireball here. Now we hit, all, hit both of these two. I mean, this guy's got... Question, oh, that's blood of flesh. This guy's got 145 hit points. That's not good. Oh, this is going to be a hard fight. It's not a good thing to have. And it looks like he's been drained. He's down to 43. Yep, he's been drained. Uh. Just he missed. Generating in the dark. Piece of garbage. Minions, and maybe we can take him out. Yeah. Oh, nice stab. Well deserved. Too bad that wasn't on a backstab. Yeah, if we can get him down, get his minions down, maybe then we can get him down a little bit quicker. Nice shot, Dante. Oh. And turn. Healed all the way up. Oh, that slow is 
tough. Um. Let's go ahead and heal Dante again. Little I'll one spell. Uh, could have been better, but could have been worse. Ah. Oh. Resisted. Oh. Nice shot. There we go. Now we're doing some damage to him. Let's see if we can light up this area and try to keep him in the light. Or not. All right, that sucked. Uh, let's see how he likes radiant damage. Well, when he makes a saving throw, he doesn't mind it at all. you are you're welcome I guess but your thanks for what exactly for reuniting me with Kitaela for dealing with this foulness when I was incapacitated this evil was new to me not something Manakalon ever knew incapacitated Yes. The merging process takes time. Time during which I was almost helpless. Reunited with her? Yes. Kitaela was, or even is, a part of me. Did you kill her? Careful now! No. It is also me speaking, my friend, and your care is much appreciated. Kithaela was your clone? I don't understand what happened here. Kithaela was a last-ditch contingency, one I didn't truly think I would ever need. A vessel for my knowledge and memories. But how did she awaken a thousand years after the Cataclysm? The revival process was tied to an ambient level of mana. Very high-level magic, then. One of the secrets of the Arcanium, yes. Hmm. Interesting. You never met such a creature before? No. Manakalon, for all its faults, revered life. This was a negation of life, an abomination. Manakalon? Are you one of the... Adrastea, the prudent shield... Master of Abjuration, in your debt, and at your service. You were at the Battle of the Rift? Yes. And there I must apologize for Kitaela's misconceptions. Misconceptions? Yes. She was created with an elven personality, and carried certain prejudices. Oh, that. The Empire wasn't kind to... other races. The humans surprised you, it seems. Yes. 
Such bravery. Such defiance. They all came together to save Salasta. The golden cavalry charging and breaking the lines of the Saur Akath. The Iron Legions and the shield wall of the dwarves. Holding the enemy at bay, flank to flank. Our shock arcanists and the human paladins together. Giving their lives to give us a chance to close the rift. And as another wave came through, one last throw of the dice. One last surprise for the sore Akath. What was it? Kasenax had us walking Celaster in elven form for so long. But at this moment, we resumed our true forms to secure the rift for a few crucial moments, buying time with our lives in a furnace of magic and steel, so Kasenax could finish his ritual with the gems. Take it, old friend, once again. Old friend? I feel your spirit in the crown, Kasenax. The Magister is still in the crown? Enough talk of the past. Please accept these few tokens of my gratitude. I must rest now. I foresee one last flight when the need is greatest, and for that, I will need all my strength. Use my gate freely. I believe you know how. We shall meet again before the end. But before you take your leave, if you would be so kind, this creature you forced to flee still plagues my grounds with his minions. Would you deal with them and free their prisoners as a courtesy? We owe you that much. Thank you, Master Adrasteya. A gem! It's a green gem. Might want to take a rest here. Alright, first things, we're going to take a rest. Paul is beat up. Or not Paul, but Dante's beat up. Uh, let's see, we want to tune this Ring of Darkness for Dante. And roll some dice. There we go, even though we're down hit points because we're drained. Um, the Cleric, we want to attune the Ring of Abjuration. Plus one to all saving throws and plus one to AC. It can cast Dispel Magic once every day. That's pretty nice. Uh, might as well use a hit die. Let's go ahead and use... Yeah, let's go ahead and do two just to max her out. These guys are capped out. Arcane Recovery. All right. Explore the rest of this level. There's supposed to be a gate around here somewhere. Oh, let's look at our journal. Found two crowns. Time to report back to. Do we have the other crown gem in our in our crown? Let's see. Three charges. Regains one at dawn. Plus one to all saving throws. Plus two to intimidation and persuasion. Plus two saving throw against transmutation spells. Against necromancy spells. And against abjuration spells. That must have been from the third gem. Revivify and raise dead. That crown is pretty beastly. Getting getting more beastly as every, every time we go. The Projections, they're all gone. This must have something to do with Adrastea's awakening. 
Yeah, I still can't get in. Let's check out this way. Big blue barrier. What is that? This magic goes far beyond our knowledge. <laughs> We have no idea. Let's check out this room. Well, oh, is there something over here? Ah, a barrel. Potions. Don't need the food. Let's ritually cast detect magic. And then let's ritually cast identify. Potion of speed. And let's see the other one. Potion of flying. This room besides the oh looks like there's something over here looks like a little bitty chest a poem amethyst and a jeweled ring I wonder if that ring is magical let's find out Sure, there's nothing magical that we forgot to identify earlier on anybody else. Got the potions. Hey, that ring is not magical. Our wooden sword is. All right. Let's get our hit points back. Dante, if you wouldn't mind, good berry. Rest. Yeah, I don't need to attune anything. Don't need to repair anything. All right. How close are we to level seven? Sixteen hundred XP. All right. Let's go back to that gate. Head back to um, Kier Kiflin. Finish up some of these little quests that we can do. Let's see. Wizard spell scrolls are destroyed after casting. Wizards can also copy a spell from a scroll into their spell book. To acquire them, which also destroys the scroll. <sighs> All right, 
So let's go to the market. Sell some stuff to Hugo. Yeah, yeah, the book's not worth money. All this crafting stuff. I don't... I hang on to it, but I'm always like, is this really going to be worth anything, you know? Do, am I going to craft? I, I just don't know. Ingredient, ingredient, a bunch of stuff is ingredients. Don't want to sell his ring or his sword. Ten gold. Woohoo! All these primed weapons. It's a rapier. Let's just sell them. They're not worth much, but I'm not gonna. I'm, I, I just don't see me doing much in the way of crafting. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and sell all that crafting stuff. Let's just, yeah, let's just go ahead and. sell the scrolls there we go that's good money and let's go ahead and do the same with Dante lot of money money's always good right don't want to sell that we need that for that identify spell money talk to Annie
Clear skies, my friends. Well, you thank nothing. you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. All right, let's go talk to Merton. Hello, Arwen. Arwen? We're friends now? I'll keep calling you kid, I think. Whatever. We've been to Copperon. Ring a bell? You bet. Apparently, you are indebted to someone there. An elf ranger? She calls herself Bitterroot? Oh, really? Something to do with her mood, maybe. She said you owe her a child. She's crazy. We just said we'd bring the message. She's still waiting. Yeah, thanks for the message. Want to tell us what this is about? No, I don't. You didn't take her child away from her. You're out of line. I'd step back if I were you. All right. It's none of our business. She gave us this for you. What? I... I don't believe it. She went back for it. Feel more like talking now? Get out! I do like Dante's armor. I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, message board. Let's see if there's anything on the message board. It's got a little glowy to it, so maybe there's a new quest there. Oh, wow. There's quite a few of them. The Collector, scavengers have reported that the sigil of the Imperial First Legion has been found in the ruined outpost near Caparan. Return there and find any item that might have been part of the equipment a soldier equipment of a soldier of this legion. Client Arcanium reward one pearl worth 100 gold pieces. A pair of bracers of sparkles is recommended for level 6. Runs in the family. Lord Danantar wants you to retrieve an item from the ruins around Adraste's fortress. He believes one of his ancestors lived there. Find anything that proves this and bring it back. Reward one pearl worth 100 gold pieces. Three level 5 spell scrolls recommended level 8. The Magister's Amulet. The Arcanium expert believes an amulet belonging to the Magister might be located inside the Manicalan ruin where you found the crown. Search the tower's library and return the amulet. Client, the Arcanium reward four gems worth 50 gold pieces, a ring of resistance to necrotic damage. Let's go ahead and grab all of these. Though the runs in the family one is still a little beyond our reach. As it's recommended level 8 and we are, well, level 6. Almost 7 though. Almost 7. Alright, let's head to the Legacy Council. Travel interrupted. Oh. Honorable members of the council, please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. Lord Keenmind has the floor. Honorable members of the council, we at the Arcanium have gathered crucial information about this crown. This is indeed the crown of the Magister. Belonging to Kaysenax, eternal soul of the Eight Traditions, ninth and last Magister of the Manakelan Arcanium. At the time, there were eight masters of magic, 
one for each of the old schools. In time of need, each master lent their gem to the Magister, the head of the Arcanium. Placed in the crown, they granted additional powers that enabled the Magister to cast spells or perform rituals of incredible power, such as the closing of the rift from Termar. Indeed, now, there is some debate about whether the crown, with all its gems, could possibly open another rift, or even reopen the previous one. Nonsense. The rift has been closed for a millennium. So Lasta paid a high enough price for that. Have you been to the Badlands recently? <laughs> Order! Marshal Sunblaze has the floor. For our part, now that the existence of Sora Akath on Celasta has been confirmed, we have gathered proof that they are operating everywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms, including here, in the Principality of Mazgarth. Impossible! The Soraks are looking for the crown and its gems. That cannot be a coincidence. A powerful artifact, certainly. But reopening the rift? It took all the gods of Tirmar to open it. No one knows for sure what the crown can do. It's just a theory. As you know, it protects itself from our divination spells. That is one of its mysterious powers. Then why would the Soraks think they know better? Because they're Soraks. Their fellow god, Sortar, knows. He is guiding them. We tried to leave him. And them. Behind on Tirmar. It seems... We failed. Their people, their culture, they must have been obsessing about this for a thousand years. While we spent that time fighting each other, they had to stick together and hide to survive. Fables and conjectures! Perhaps. But can we take the risk? The crown must be secured. The crown belongs to those who found it. Those are the rules. The quest for the gems should be completed. Only this way can we learn more about the Crown and its powers. These deputies, well, they're not strong enough. No offense. Tell that to the Crown. And they've done well enough so far, wouldn't you say? This is nonsense. Maybe the deputies would like to speak. After all, they are members of the Council now, aren't they? I think at least one of these people in this council are Sorax. We get it. This is big. We won't let you down. Right. Trust is a hot topic these days. Nobody here questions your dedication. You've done a lot already. Yet, we should support you in your efforts. And we will. If that is all, may we conclude? I'd like to say a word, if that is appropriate. Of course, Your Highness. We're listening. I think our brave deputies shouldn't be, you know, sleeping in a city inn. We have a very comfortable residence near the palace. They would be safer there, don't you think? That would be my, I mean, our part in supporting the quest. <clears throat> your Highness, I must remind you that your decisions as head of state are not subject to council approval. Oh, right. <laughs> Might I suggest that you reiterate your offer outside these walls? Of course. I beg the council's pardon. Not at all, your highness. Then I think that is all? Thank you. The Legacy Council is now in recess. A word, please, deputies. What's up? Her Royal Highness asked me to reiterate her offer to accommodate you at the palace residence. What is that? A house for plenipotentiaries, emissaries, and other guests of the court. It's an honor. You don't say. Where is this residence? In the palace. Ask for Ravensworth, a royal butler. He'll show you. Stay in the light, senior deputies. You too, Captain. She seems a bit hardy. All right.
Let's look at our, our quest logs here. We got a bunch of them. Path to Glory, talk to the butler. Uh, let's see, study the crown's pedestal. Search the monastery. Find the Silent Whisperer's base. Hunt down the Shadow of Defiler. Find the Magister's Amulet. Let's see. Imperial Outpost. That one's level 8. Oh, Mayor Bright Spark. Ask for a minute of your time. All right. Well, let's go talk to Mayor Bright Spark. Lady Bright Spark, how may we help you? You could start by not calling me that, as you wish. I have a messy business on my desk, and your name's on it. My name? It's an inheritance, with a bunch of people contesting the will. What? Who died? The Honorable Joan Tannison. Oh, I see. Family. She was my m mentor, a renowned lawyer. You're a lawyer? Do I look like a lawyer? <laughs> Wouldn't put it past you. What is the mess, exactly? Tannison left you everything according to the will. Her children aren't happy, and the notary is very annoying. So please, do something. Anything. Just make them stop harassing me. I have more important things to deal with. Perhaps I should talk to the children first. Do whatever you want, as long as it shuts this notary up. Right. Thank you, my lady. She's not very pleasant. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep, find people and talk to them. Looks like they're scattered around town. Here we talk to the Circle of Danatar person. Deputies, do you have anything for the Circle? Let's see what sort of stuff we they do have. require your services. Uh, lots of gear. I like gear. Deputies, do you have anything for the Circle? Take a look. Stay in the light, deputies. Make some money, increase our alliance level. Oh, we got them up to brotherhood. They really deputies. Like us. We do require your services. Let's see what they got. We got four thousand bucks. We don't got nobody that can wear plate armor. Uh, let's see. Major identity. You can't wear plate armor either? I th You're a war cleric. I thought we had heavy armor proficiency. I guess not. All right. Plus two shield would be nice. 2200 bucks. It's a big chunk of our money. Plus one longbow. 700 bucks. All right, let's buy the shield and the longbow. I'm gonna give the shield to Dante. No, 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 no,
Give the shield back to Major Identity. We've got to keep the Cleric standing. And Dante's got a plus one shield. Anywho. And then Major Identity will take that plus two shield. All right. Let's talk to this gal. Lyria, I'm so very sorry for your loss. Oh, you're that... Well, I knew she liked you, but... Frankly, this all seems like a prank. Right? That's what I told the notary. Goodbye. These people. Alright, that was... Pretty... Um... Yeah, okay. Oh, just in case... We've been ambushed in the city before. to the Tower of Knowledge. Deputies, how are you today? Do you have some lovely loot from the Badlands? Indeed. Clear skies to you. What do you have for us? Deputies, how are you today? We do require your services. Bunch of crafting stuff. All right. Talk to Drew. Drew, how are you holding up? Oh, look, it's the famous heir. Should I bow? Listen, I, I have no idea. Oh, of course. It's just bad luck that you got everything. Can we talk? Just talk to my lawyer. Oh, wait. He needs a smack in the mouth. He's grieving. I'll give him something to grieve over. <laughs> yeah, these guys are all kind of assholes. All right, one more person to talk to. Clear skies, friends. I have a letter for someone who fought at Sandreed. Gotta be me. Who wrote me? Mildred Warmhearth. Innkeeper at Copper Ann's Strike True Tavern. Know her? Sure do. Well, friends, who's in for a trip back there? All right. Another side quest. Let's get in here and talk to this gal. Adria, how are you? Well, sad, of course. You? Thanks for asking. A bit down, of course. She taught me so much. I know. She was proud of you. Thank you. Listen, this will. It bothers me. I really don't want to quarrel with you and your siblings. I'm afraid you won't have a choice. Lyria is a lying bitch. And Drew is a tactless jerk. What would you do with the inheritance? Me? <laughs> Share it with the other two sharks, just to stay alive. Fair enough. Alright, let's take a look here. Um... Nope, nope, here it is. Go to the notary, waiting at Tanderson Mountain, where only Adria still lives. You know the place well. Go there and sign the papers with the notary. All right. Well, this is probably a good place to call it for the day. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. 
I've been Sir Joseph. You guys have been awesome. And as always, stay safe out there. And until next time, talk to you later.